It is my pleasure to welcome a returning guest back to the show, and that is Logan Ramsey coming to us from beautiful New Zealand. And we're here to do a little demo of Landlord Studio. Logan, welcome back. Thank you very much, Jason. Nice to be here again. It's good to have you always. So why don't you go ahead and share your screen and take us through the product? Of course, not a problem. Let me know once that comes through for you. We can see it. Perfect. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of a demo of Landlord Studio uh, and go through the main features. Uh, firstly, starting with a bit of an overview of what Landlord Studio is. So Landlord Studio is a property management software that focuses on financial tracking and helping landlords stay ahead of their finances for tax time. We then bolt on some property management features on the outside uh, to automate their rental properties so the, the whole management aspect just becomes much more streamlined. Uh, when you log into Landlord Studio, you are presented with a screen that looks like this. So this is a fully set up account uh, and you'll immediately notice that uh, there's a nice dashboard that gives you uh, very much a financial insight into how, landlords, well, how your pro property portfolio is performing at any one time. Uh, we display overdue expenses, upcoming rent, overdue rents, uh, a few cash flow graphs to really just help you understand what's going on right now uh, and what's overdue uh, and what's coming up in the future. You can also uh, filter this by many different payment categories, etc. But before we kind of get in a little bit deeper, I'll just give you a quick uh, understanding of how the property software works. So uh, we can compare ourselves to accounting software for uh, businesses, except we focus on uh, making it as streamlined as possible for properties. If you're familiar with using QuickBooks online, uh, you'll notice that uh, those or that product is not very suitable for no, managing uh, not at all. <laughs> a, a property portfolio. Yeah. And you're likely to use things like classes and all sorts of things to try hack your way to make it work. Yeah. But what we've done is we've taken that uh, and we've simplified it and we've built it around a property view where essentially all your properties, uh, where you manage each of your expenses, income, et cetera. Yeah. So, by the way, just to dovetail on that, if you're using QuickBooks for your real estate portfolio, you're really just making it too hard for yourself, folks. Yeah. Um, we have heard that feedback a lot. Uh, it's very... It's interesting to hear because yes, it's a powerful accounting software, but no, yeah. it's not powerful. But, I mean, you can run a huge business on QuickBooks, okay? Mm -hmm. It's not designed for landlords. <laughs> not in the slightest, no. So just continuing on, uh, getting set up is really simple. Adding properties is very simple. Uh, you can go through this whole process, add your single family home, multi-units, et cetera. Uh, as simple as just typing in the address, pre-populating uh, all the, the fields here adding in any information that you want uh, around uh, the property. And then uh, what we can do from there is just click save. That will save the property. And then we're brought to the property view here. Now, once we've added the property, uh, we can then go in and uh, add our lease information, et cetera. Now, this is where we kind of start to bolt some of those property management features on uh, to, the, to the product itself. So we have online rent collection. Tenants can pay online uh, via an ACH direct debit uh, feature. Uh, they'll be invited to the portal where they can set up automatic rent payments, uh, pay for utility bills, et cetera, et cetera. And all of that is driven from uh, what we call a lease. And the lease is where you manage uh, a specific tenancy that your tenant is a part of. That drives uh, every all the information around reminders, sending out e automatic email reminders for uh, tenant overdue payments, um, uh, expiry emails for these uh, tenancies, et cetera, to yourself, uh, setting up late fees, all that sort of good stuff in here. So uh, basically the lease can be set up in a way that can help you manage Airbnbs, uh, long-term rentals, short-term rentals, all the types of rental properties that may be in your portfolio. Next, we uh, once you've kind of set up that lease, you can then start to log payments in here as well. All the payments are then tracked around that lease. Uh, so that allows you to start to cover some of the income sides of tracking uh, for your rental property. Uh, and then we can add our tenants 
and also our landlords. If you do need to assign it to such as an LLC entity, uh, you can do that in here really easily. And then property documents, notes, uh, and then the good stuff around expenses. Okay. So just touching kind of on expenses and how it works. We pre-populate all the categories from uh, a Schedule E 1040 tax form. Uh, and this is really designed to make uh, basically doing tax returns for rental properties as easy as possible. You might be familiar with these in QuickBooks as chart of accounts uh, yep. or your accountant might be uh, familiar with those. Uh, we call them categories. We like to make the, the terminology a very real estate specific uh, so that it's just a lot easier. But essentially this, this expense field is very similar to QuickBooks Online where you can assign your chart of account categories, uh, suppliers if you're running 1099s, et cetera, all the stuff that your accountant needs or CPA needs to really just make the tax return as streamlined as possible. Uh, and make it as easy for you as possible. Yeah, we, to, we get it. So um, Logan, uh, just on the main features, does it have, let's start at the beginning. When you've got a property that you need to rent, does it do ad syndication or enlisting syndication like yes. you know, on Zillow apartments.com uh, or apartments.com uh, network? So the syndication features uh, at the moment uh, are really just built around uh, a listing and mm -hmm. uh, and marketing that listing. So we actually create a web page for you where you can then go in and um, promote that on the sites. Okay. We don't currently syndicate. It is coming up. We are building that at the moment. Uh, okay. and we'll like so, But it'll create an on. individual website for each property? That's correct, yes. That's so, pretty neat. With photos and everything, show us one. So this may not be filled out, but essentially uh, when you come into the listing feature, you can then uh, populate everything that you need to go uh, into here. And then all the photos will be in here like this. You can add so, your description. So that's a, a link that you would share with the public, right? That's correct, yes. Okay, and they can start an application on there. Right. They can start an application. Uh, they okay. can add all the contact details. Uh, you can then set up pre-screening questions as well if you're looking to uh, okay. find out a bit more information. Too. All right. And what does it cost? Does it do the uh, credit report, the criminal background check, the unlawful detainer filing, all of that? Yep. Criminal background check. Uh, we we integrate with the Smart Move product from TransUnion. You can run that directly from uh, in the applications. How, uh, how much does it cost? The uh, application is $38. You can essentially uh, charge that towards the tenant or to the landlord as well. Um, either party can pay for that. Right. And when the payment is made, because almost always the renter pays that, where does the money go? Does, does the customer, the landlord get any of that or does it go straight to you guys? So the majority of this fee goes to TransUnion uh, okay. because that's the product. And then okay. um, so there's no participation yeah. in application fees then, right? No, only the only this fee if, the, if this is uh, sent to the tenant. So right. they just pay by a credit card and then they yeah. get uh, the report sent back to the, the landlord in here where they can view it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. So you've got this property up for lease, no ad syndication, but a cool website. People can apply right on the website. That's great. And then you accept the tenant or you pick one tenant to accept. And then you've, you've got the features of now, what about rent collection? Can they pay? I assume they can pay on a portal through the site. They can indeed. So when you set up the lease for the tenant, uh, the rent collection uh, feature will then invite the tenant in and then they can pay online, automatic okay. payments. And, and that's an ACH, I assume? That That's an ACH direct. Is there a fee yes. for it? There's a slight fee, uh, depending okay. on the plan that you're on. Uh, okay. It starts at $2.25 if you're on uh, our start plan, uh, but you can also charge it towards the tenant as well. So the tenant okay. can pay that convenience fee, uh, which okay. is two twenty five. dollars What about credit cards? We don't currently do credit cards at the moment. Uh, I'm not recommending you do it anyway, but just yeah, ask. Okay. Too much right. risk around chargebacks, yeah. et yeah, cetera. Sure, sure. Got, it, got it. Okay. So we've got the rent collection that just goes into the accounting and the tax stuff you described already. What about repair and maintenance? Repair and maintenance is something we're building right now, actually. Right. Um, and we are releasing that in the next uh, month. Uh, and that will basically be very similar to most other property management softwares where tenant can file a maintenance request, 
comes in. But what we do differently is we loop it in with all the expense tracking so that you can actually properly track expenses against maintenance requests rather than it just being a ticketed item that you manage, if that makes sense. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. All right. What about documents and forms? Do you have a document library with leases and things like that in them? We do indeed. And if you want to upload all your documents just to make sure that they're all on file, uh, you can do that against each property itself and retrieve okay. those at any time. So that's yeah. your own documents and you've got document storage. That's great. What about documents that you can populate though? Do you have that feature? We have documents, uh, lease templates that we provide to our users through our website. Okay. It's not currently built into the lease flow necessarily because mm -hmm. we've really tried to focus on the financial aspect rather sure. than those other aspects. But we do have uh, the ability for you to pre-populate that stuff. We do okay. partner Great. with a company called Rocket Lawyer for that. Right, right. Okay, yeah. The, like Hamline used Rocket Lawyer too. Okay, good. So that'll include then because I use Rocket Lawyer sometimes. So that'll include like the three day notice to pay or quit forms and all of the, all of the yeah, documents exactly. that Rocket Lawyer has. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So do they get a Rocket Lawyer membership then when they subscribe to your software? Yes, I believe you can buy one off um, templates as well. We actually have free templates on our website that you can use and then customize. Okay. Um, so you can always visit those on our resources page too. Uh, very similar. They still include everything that you need. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, you just have to customize it a little bit. Yeah, good, good stuff. All right. What else do you want people to know? Maybe a question I haven't asked you. The other feature that we do have uh, and we're building out is our integration. So although I did say at the beginning, uh, QuickBooks Online and accounting software is not really designed for uh, properties, uh, we are building integrations to them because your accountant is going to use it uh, and mm -hmm. they do use it in their, in their firms. So the best way for the, you to get their information to them uh, as easy as possible is through the integration. So we translate all that, populate it into QuickBooks Online and Xero, uh, and then they can run the reports as they need okay. to. So that's awesome. probably the main feature that I haven't covered. And then also the bank feeds. So we do actually have the ability to import bank transactions, reconcile them, et cetera, uh, against properties, which can- Tell me about that. How would someone use that, the bank transactions? So they can log in to uh, their bank account via our software. Uh, mm -hmm. And then essentially, uh, let me just change this. Yeah, you do it through Plaid like most. Okay. We, do it, we do it through Plaid. And then basically uh, they can uh, reconcile the transactions directly uh, against properties or the mm -hmm. organization from here. Okay. So we just pull those in automatically. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Good stuff. This is great. Now you've got a special offer for our listeners, which is 20% off. And the link for that, I believe is jasonhartman.com slash studio. That's, That's jasonhartman.com slash studio for landlord studio, 20% off. That's our affiliation deal. And anything else you want people to know? Make sure to use the code and the uh, the checkout as well. You'll see that on that page uh, right. when you go to it. You'll find you'll find the code there that you can use. Okay, and that code will be Jason. By That's the way, correct. for the discount, and they'll right? You, and they'll give you twenty percent off the uh, the first first year subscription. Okay, perfect. Sounds good. Thank you very much, Logan. We appreciate it. And that's jasonhartman.com slash studio. Again, good to have you back. Not a problem. Enjoy.